Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup haul. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a huge luxury makeup haul. So now I'm gonna make up for that with a nice drugstore haul. Now I actually don't feature drugstore makeup too, too much on my channel, but I really do love drugstore makeup. I just don't talk about it as much because I only have so much time and I spend a lot more money on my luxury stuff. So I'm gonna talk about that. But on the low low, I always pick up drugstore makeup and I love testing it out. There's nothing that makes me happier than finding a drugstore product that works as good as my luxury makeup. It's been a while since I've done a drugstore video, so you're gonna have this video, and then my next video is going to be just a get ready with me creating this look using a few of these products. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up from the drugstore recently, then just keep watching. I think we're going to organize this video by a brand. So we're gonna start off with the brands that I bought the most from. So the first one I think that won today was e.l.f. I got quite a few items from e.l.f. I remember back in the day when e.l.f. was eyeslipsface.com and all they had was only $1 products. But the first thing that I purchased was the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now this is a dupe for the Tatcha Canvas Silk, which I did end up giving away because I really couldn't notice a difference with it. And honestly, I feel like I'm missing out on something with that. So that's why I picked this up to see if I'm crazy. I use it as my base in the next upcoming video you will see and it did feel super moisturizing on my skin almost a little bit more moisturizing than the Tatcha if I'm being honest so I really want to continue playing with this and try doing half my face with it just to see the differences between the two sides because I didn't do that today but so far I think I like it I like the texture I like how it feels I like how it made my skin feel hopefully this is good because it's only a few bucks I also picked up the new hydrating camo concealer I got mine in the shade medium sand which might be a touch too dark for me but honestly I'm so over really light concealers. I have a lot of really light concealers So I feel like this is a good way to balance out my collection some more I have the original camo concealer from elf which I bought in a color that was way too light on me And I feel like those two together might be a really good mix especially with the color I tried it out today as well in the video I definitely need to play with it some more to really give you my true opinion It's a bit of a thicker consistency looking at how it's sitting on my skin I don't think I love that at the same same time it also does look natural so I'm gonna have to continue playing with this and keep you guys updated I don't think it's a bad concealer from what I can tell but I haven't really worn it and give it a full chance I also picked up a blush this is not a new item but this is the primer infused blush and in always rosy I've just heard a lot about these blushes from them and this color I've always been really attracted to so I'm gonna try and swatch all of these for you so very sleek packaging for elf and I mean this color is a gorgeous gorgeous everyday rosy shade it feels really nice doesn't seem too pigmented which i really like wow this is just like the weirdest swatch ever but this i want this on my cheek this looks stunning i'm very excited i really like the texture of how that feels semi recently they came out with these bite size eyeshadow palettes they're only three dollars each very very simple packaging and i picked three up just because i thought they were so cute i haven't even swatched these yet so let's see so this first one here is acai you anyways you have a lot of really cool purples from what i've heard the quality on these aren't exceptional but it's a three dollar eyeshadow palette so these are the swatches for acai you i mean the swatches look gorgeous texture of the shadows didn't feel fantastic like natasha or denona by any means it's also three dollars so then we got hot jalapeno which i can't open right now i tried to get it open and i just stabbed one of the shades oh my goodness with my long nail let me do a little bit of damage control here. First of all, thank goodness this happened to my $3 eyeshadow palette and not like a Natasha Denona or Charlotte Tilbury. So I did stab this shade, but these colors are super duper pretty. Kind of feel like I could get a similar look with what I'm wearing. Ew, look at my thumb. Okay, anyways though, let me swatch these for you though. That dark green swatched very underwhelming, so it's okay. The mattes in here not swatching good so this one i don't know about as you can see the matte shades in here are like invisible the shimmers on the bottom though are very very pretty to these two for three dollars that still doesn't sound bad because i feel like the other matte shades are no bueno god opening drugstore makeup it's the worst 
Okay, so this next one here is truffles. You know I had to pick up a neutral one. This is really pretty. I definitely want to put this on my eyes, but these are my kind of colors. So far, the shimmers in these, I really liked how they swatched. The mattes, questionable. Oh, and then I got the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. These are like their glitter eyeshadows. They have like a whole line that's... Their collection looks really, really pretty. I only wanted to get one though in case I didn't like the formula. I still am a die-hard Stila glitter and glow. But this is in the shade Flirty Birdie. So it looks like this. This is actually super duper tiny, but let's see how it swatches. Ew, my hand looks gross. Ooh, this looks like... Ooh, that's shiny. Ew, my hand is gross from those swatches. That looks super pretty though. Steal a kitten, right? That's what it looks like. The glitters are chunkier, more silver. So you have to really want that like disco ball effect, but really pretty. We'll have to see how that handles on the eye. So that's all I got from e.l.f. Let's move on to Milani. Uh, Milani came out with quite a few new products over the last few weeks. So I was very excited to give those a go. I picked up... One foundation. This I have not tried yet. This is the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I got mine in the shade Nude Beige. The packaging feels pretty expensive minus the cap. This is like a tinted moisturizer from what I've seen. Just a very light natural coverage foundation. So I'm excited to get the chance to play with this. So I can't speak on it. I don't know if it's good or not, but I've been interested in trying it. I also picked up this Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. I really love a good liquid or a cream blush. I wanted to try it so bad in my video today of me getting ready, but it just, it did not go with these eyes. So let's try it right now. This is Pink Flirt, so let's see. So we're gonna start off with this little bit because you never know. Okay, so that blends out to be relatively sheer. Ooh, and it has like a soft matte kind of finish to it. This, I don't think you should be intimidated by the color of too much when it blends out, but we'll have to see how that plays out on the face. I also picked up the Milani Outlaw Olive Eyeshadow Palette, and this is what is on my eyelids right now. First of all, it's so stunning. I really hate drugstore eyeshadows generally and never pick them up unless it's ColourPop, but something about this color story really spoke to me. That's what I did for today's look, so you'll have to check out my video to see how it really performed, but I think it's okay. I think I had to work with it a little more than I would with a more expensive eyeshadow palette, obviously, but it is really pretty, and I think it's a really great way to get these unique colors from the drugstore because colors like this aren't very common from the drugstore, and I got it to work, and the look is super pretty. And then I picked up the highlighter duo in Power Up. These just look super stunning. I couldn't pass these up. So this is this is what it looks like up close. Super pretty. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I really generally like drugstore highlighters, so I'm excited to see how that glides across my face and what kind of glow it gives me. My arm is a mess from breaking that e.l.f. eyeshadow. So let's move on to Wet n Wild. I only picked up two things from Wet n Wild. The first is the Photo Focus Foundation. This is their dewy version. I have tried their original version of this and I didn't really like it. I thought it looked really pretty on the skin in, on the camera so like I would do makeup looks and take photos but I wouldn't wear them out because I thought it looked really cakey and dry on my skin so I was very excited to see that they came out with a dewy version and this is in soft beige by the way it's what I'm wearing now and honestly you'll see in my video that I wasn't really too impressed with it I thought it applied a little bit more patchy to my face and uneven and it was a little bit more sheer but I definitely want to give this more of a chance because I have only tried it today and I've only been wearing it for about an hour at this point. I think once everything is said and done, like my bronzer's on, my blushes on, my highlights on, my skin looks nice. Um, it looks very natural. This is more of a natural finish. You're not going to get a lot of coverage with it. So my skin looks nice and healthy now, but as far as initial application, just kind of seeing it for what it was, it wasn't my favorite, but I'm definitely going to have to give this more of a chance. And then I picked up this highlighting duo. It's called a blush lighter and it's really shimmery blush and a highlighter. I got mine in Highlight Bling. I'm really excited to open this one up because it looks literally stunning. I wouldn't say I like a shiny shimmery blush, but I do like a glowy blush. So I think as far as a shimmery blush, this is going to be too much for me, but it was so stunning. I couldn't pass it up. And Wet n Wild has really good powder face products. So this is what that looks like close up. <laughs> so stunning. I don't even want to touch it, but I must. 
So this felt a little bit chunkier than the Milani, but the swatch itself is really, really stunning. Really excited to play with those. While we're at it, let's talk about another highlighter that I bought. This is from Revlon. This is the Skin Lights Highlighter in Daydream Glimmer. Now, this is the powder highlight I have on right now. I think it looks really stunning, and of course, I was very attracted to the way that it looked in the pan. It just looked really, really pretty. I love this kind of gelée formula. So let's just swatch this too. This is not a super new release from Revlon, but I've been eyeing this because it is so attractive to me. And this top highlight is where that is. And ooh, it looks really pretty as a swatch. It, you can see how much smoother and how that finish looks compared to the Wet n Wild. Like this looks much more wet and smooth. That's a really good highlight. Um, I also picked up a couple shiny things from Flower Beauty. So the first one is this Day Glow Highlighting Glaze from Flower, and this is not what I thought it was. I don't know what I thought I was ordering, but I didn't think it was this, but this is like a cream highlighter. It's a glossy effect kind of product, so the consistency of it is a little bit more sticky and glossy, and I don't necessarily like that, but I have to say the finish of it on the skin is really pretty. When I applied it, I decided to use a sponge and I think that was the best way to use it because it is such a tacky feeling. It can easily move your foundation around. So if you pick it up, I would recommend using a sponge to kind of push it into the foundation rather than push it around the foundation. But it did create a really pretty glossy, glassy, natural finish on the skin. I hate the consistency of it, but as far as the finish looks and how it looked, it was really pretty. And then I also picked up this pyramid cheek color. This is just stunning looking. You can kind of choose where you want the color if you want this as your highlight or if you are going to want more pink or you can kind of blend them together. So I'm just going to kind of do a general swatch. Kind of got all messed up but I don't even know. So this is what that looks like just kind of all blended together. This is something I can feel like you can put on top of like a flat blush is what I would do just to give it a little bit of a glow or I would pinpoint the lightest portion here and use it as a highlight but I think this is a very versatile product. It is a bit shimmery shimmery to be all over cheek color but I do like a bit of a glow so maybe this could be with a light dusting very nice but overall it's just an attractive product which is why I purchased it. Staying into blushes I also picked up this blush from Olme and this is the Healthy Hue blush in the shade nearly nude and this is like such horrible cheap packaging and I never really am attracted to anything from Alme but this blush you guys is so good. I've been using this all week for work and it is such a pretty blush. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today as well. It's such a pretty color great for every day. This is one of my favorite drugstore blushes of the moment. It has a very soft natural sheen to it as well. It is not a flat blush. You can kind of see how it has that shine and that does translate on the cheek as well. It's a perfect everyday color and I can't believe it's all May. And one of the things that was a selling point for me once I applied it to my face is that it actually applies and shows up on top of just powder foundation. Normally a lot of blushes, even high-end blushes, they don't really show up when I just put on powder foundation because there's not Nothing for it to grab onto. This shows up on my cheek with just powder foundation. So that's how you know it's a good blush formula. I also picked up a cream blush and this is from CoverGirl and this is in the shade 350 flushed. I couldn't stay away from more pink blushes. I never purchased from CoverGirl. I could probably argue that this is the only CoverGirl item in my collection, but I love a good cream blush formula as I stated earlier. We'll start off with this and let's see how this goes. Ooh, so this seems to have a little bit more color than that Milani one. Feels a little bit thicker and stickier than I would prefer a liquid blush to feel, but maybe it's like more of a gel. Anyways, very, oh, oh, I'm excited about that. Oh, so I picked up from Maybelline the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. I got mine in nude beige. I got a pretty good deal on it because there was a $3 off coupon and it was from Walmart and you always get the cheapest drugstore makeup from Walmart plus $3 off. So it was a pretty good deal for this. I've been wearing this and I, I like it. I think it's a really nice lightweight foundation. Again, it's not the most amazing foundation I've ever used, but I think overall it's quite a solid product. 
product. There are drugstore foundations that I much prefer over this, but I haven't been disappointed with it and I haven't, you know, felt bad wearing it. Like I enjoy wearing it. So it's a decent foundation, not the best from the drugstore, but still pretty good and it's very light and natural on the skin so you might like that we're getting real random here but from l'oreal i picked up this infallible eyeshadow now this isn't new but i just thought it looked super stunning in the store this is probably super old but i don't know i was just attracted to it so it's just like a pot eyeshadow and ooh, it's so creamy oh my goodness wait ew my fingers are dirty i'm sorry i'm a hot mess <gasps> Okay, so do you see that? Did you just see that? This is an old product. I need to put that all over my eyeballs. Okay, so this is like a really creamy eyeshadow. This is in Golden Emerald, by the way. I don't know if you just saw that, but I may need to pick that up in more colors. Wow. Then I picked up from LA Girl the Glitter Holic Glitter Topper. I was very tempted to purchase all of them, but why would I do that when I don't know how the formula works? So this is in the shade Ooh La La. So doesn't, mm, I mean, it feels like a pressed glitter shadow. This particular shade has a lot of different shades in there. I don't know that I'm gonna love this product. It looked like it had potential in the pan. I don't know. I can't speak on this too much. I'll have to let you guys know as I use it. So the last four items are eyeshadow palettes that I picked up and this first one is from Physicians Formula and this is the Rose All Play eyeshadow palette. I just thought the concept and the packaging and all of it was really really stunning for the drugstore. Super pretty. From what I can tell thus far, as far as swatching it, because I have not yet used it, I'm not... The shadows seem super chalky and like too soft. Like they're breaking in the pan. Like I lightly... This purple shade, like yeah, that looked like it swatched stunning, but like I feel like I squashed half of the pan. It's too powdery. I don't know. I don't even want to like swatch it, really. And then the shimmers also was very exciting for me. They looked like the... Huda Beauty textured shadows and I don't know I just feel like they swatched lackluster so I'm going to need to really sit down and play with these but from swatching I don't know I'm not too sure about those and then I also picked up three eyeshadow palettes from Colourpop you guys know I love Colourpop so the first one you guys know I picked up if you watch my videos this is the You're a Cutie palette it's just a really pretty pinky purpley Valentine's Day palette I'm typically quite in love with the Colourpop formula especially for the price so I'm very excited about that and then I saw these in store and I had to pick them up they were stunning uh, this is the blush crush palette kind of similar tones to your cutie but really pretty blush tones that looks really stunning and then this one is nude mood let me show you them side by side here is nude mood more neutrally kind of tones and then here is blush crush aren't these both super stunning i definitely did not need either of these but they were so pretty i couldn't help it i had to pick them up so those are actually the last things that i picked up in today's haul lots of fun new drugstore stuff i feel like it's been a while since a ton of drugstore makeup has come out at once so every time they do that i tend to pick up a few things here and there so this stuff has built up over the last few weeks and i'm very excited to get playing with all of them so make sure you check out my video that's coming up within the next couple of days where i try few of these products out and you can kind of see how they really work on my face but other than that that is all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful let me know if there's any types of videos you would like me to do that are more drugstore based i do need to add more drugstore content on my channel so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you are not yet subscribed to my channel i hope you take the time to do so and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys have a good one